Okay. Now, just because somebody calls you names doesn't mean you can raise your hand to them. Right. Okay, that's not right. That's wrong. That's not how society's supposed to be, that's okay? okay. Because it's such a transient town, people from South America and people from Canada here, and it's just a, it's a pretty cool place to work. I like to, I like to be around different types of people, and, and this is ideal for that sort of thing. Right now, we're going to some kind of battery call where somebody's getting beaten up down at the corner. I'm not sure. The details of the call hasn't come out yet, but uh, it's just right around the corner, so she's, the dispatch has sent us to it. This is a clerk. Black male, light complexion, 25, 5'8", slim, wearing a green shirt and a grayish black pants. Leaves us. She caught him in a 440A last week, and it's retaliation. Uh, medicals in route. Our victim's uh, pregnant. He got mad because he got caught stealing, so he went back and beat up the clerk who caught him stealing. Can you be in route to Tom 336? We're going to go over here to the store and talk to the victim. And hopefully she'll prosecute. I'm sure she will. We're going to just make sure she's OK. I caught him stealing about two weeks ago. And, uh -huh. I, and I came outside and I told him, hey, you got to put the 12 pack back. You can't steal. And he just walked away, right? Uh -huh. So then he comes in a couple of days later and he tells, he's going to walk in and like use our restroom and get a refill and stuff. And I told him, no, get the hell out of here. You shoplifted, you're a thief, don't come in here anymore. Right. He goes, I'm going to get you. He starts calling me names, fat bitch, and all this other stuff. And, and I, I, well, I called him some names back and told him to get out. Sure. You know? And then he comes in today and he walks around the back of the register. And I told him, hey, you can't come in here. Get out, because he had a refill cup. I thought he was going to come and try and get a refill. And he threw, like, hot water on me. It wasn't that hot. I mean, I take sh hotter showers. Right. And th but then he jumped up in the booth where I was, and he's, like, right under the camera, too. And he and he started hitting me. All I did was I protected my baby. I just ran right. over and protected my baby. Do you guys have video surveillance of all that? Color videos. Surveillance. OK. Is the manager and on the audio. way in for that? Yeah, he should be here any time now. Okay. Did he come in and ask for anything? Yeah. No, he just came in and threw hot water on me and... and Where'd he get the water from? He got it from our bathroom. Okay. Somebody had been using the bathroom and handed him over the key before, you know, before... Are you sure that it's water? Yeah. Smell it. It's just water. Okay. I I'm just making sure it wasn't urine. Um, well, that's the guy that they have in custody that's over there? That's the guy. Okay, good. They're bringing him over and we'll get your statements and stuff and... Be real detailed on that, especially the stuff before that happened, and then especially him saying when he said he's going to come back and get you, bitch. Okay. All that stuff is That's real important. Videotape. I even wrote down the time that he came in and put it on videotape for my boss. Good. Um, I came in. I grabbed the key to go to the bathroom. I used the restroom. I came back. She turned around and told me, you can't be in here, blah, blah, blah. You... Why was she saying that? She talking about, I seen you steal a 12-pack, et cetera. Uh-huh. Um, did you try to steal a 12 pack? No. Okay. no did, I did you not. bring one up to the counter? You're going to buy one and she just started? No. Okay. No. No, I didn't bring no 12 pack to the counter. Okay. Um, so I started calling her bitches and etc. Et right. Um, after I told, after she was like, oh, well, f you. She flipped me off. I told her, I'm going to get you. Okay. I came in today. Um, I threw water on her face and I tried yes. to slap the out of her. When you came in today, you knew she was going to be working? No, I did not. No, I did not. I just I got off work. I just got off work. Where do you work at? Um, I do construction. Okay. Now, just because somebody calls you names doesn't mean you can raise your hand to them. Right. Okay. That's not right. That's wrong. That's not how society's supposed to be. That's okay? okay. And because that's what happened, that's why you're going to jail. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. That's fine. All right. Watch your head. Did you know she's pregnant? No. Would that have changed your mind about you going in there and trying to knock a block off? Mm -hmm. You think so? Okay. Well, she is. Think about that for a minute, okay? This tape that we're watching now is uh, when he first made the initial threat against her on uh, June the 3rd at about 4.30. Three days ago. Yeah, three days ago. So this tape will show him he'll come in and use the bathroom key first and then he'll come back later.
later, and that's when the confrontation takes place. It's coming up pretty soon. Okay, this is him. He's returning the bathroom key. Okay. At first he said, you better watch yourself, and she said, what are you going to do? And then he sort of lunged through the door, and as he was leaving, he says, you better watch your back. If you listen okay. really carefully. Okay. Does he come back in? He couldn't really hear that. He says, you better watch your back. We have him three days ago coming into the store. She tells him, no, you can't come back because you tried to steal a 12-pack. That's right. And um, he denies doing that, but that's irregardless. He came back three days ago and said, um, you know, use the restroom key. She says, I don't want you in here. You tried to steal a 12-pack. And there was some words were exchanged. Here she is sitting up here. We have a lot of audio, Okay, that's that guy leaving. Yes, yeah, so that's right after this guy leaves. Okay, why don't we ri rewind it and watch that um, number three again, real close, okay. if we can. This lady's just doing her job, just yeah. working behind the counter. And See, he came in intentionally with that. Yeah, he came in to do that, right. which is why we're going to be able to prove that he came in with the intention of hurting her and, and starting trouble with her, which is why we're going to get a felony on. OK, and then that's her calling us. And about 10 minutes later, we have him in custody. Excellent job. Here we go. Caught on tape, and he's off to county jail, burglary and battery. I've been a policeman for about 10 years, but I've been with North Las Vegas coming up on three years. In fact, my partner and I, we've been teamed up for about five months together now. So uh, we know each other pretty well, and I think we work together real well. Wayne's a hard worker, and he likes to get after, and that's excellent. The one subject on the roof screaming for a 451. Okay, what we're going to now is we have either a mental subject or a subject high on uh, narcotics. He's standing up on top of a roof screaming for more drugs. Apparently, this guy is, is right now being fairly violent about being taken off this roof or even coming down. Hang on. Okay, we're going to have to come to a stop here. Yep. Are we over there? They're stopped. You're good. Not a problem. Get an eyeball for him. Where do you have? I'm looking. I can't find which side. We're obviously yeah, I don't know where she went. We're going to be on this side of the street. Let's go around these cars. Yeah, OK, they're there, right there. There he is. Oh, son of a gun. There he is. Yep. <laughs> what do you need, Jim? You got it. Davey, which side do you want me to take? They're going to fix you up, guy, but you got to come down. Scott. I ain't done nothing. Well, nobody said you have. Hey, Scott. Dwayne. Didn't you promise Dwayne. me to come down here? We're not gonna do anything to you, but get you some help. You tell me what you need or what you want, and we'll get it for you. But you gotta come down. I want shot heroin. All right, come down. I can't give yeah. it to you up there. That I'm not sure of. But we can't leave you sitting on somebody's house. No. Do you live here? I can promise you that nobody's going to hurt you. Cool. I can't. 
Hey, Scott, we get hurt. Come you on. Got the ambulance out here. We'll take you out and get some help. How's that sound? Scott. Come on, Scott. The easiest way to do it is just to come down off that house. All right? Yeah, we got ladders. And I wanted to go right here with the ladder. Okay. I can get up on the roof from the front brick wall. If he sees you guys, he's going to attract his, his attention towards you. Do you want me? Uh, then I can come from the other side. So we, you need to, up we all need to get up there together and then okay. just basically move real quietly because he's on. He's probably four, five, one heroin, and we know what that is. Okay. And beanbags. Just be careful do so we don't tumble off the roof. Let's, okay. get, let's see if we can get a ladder back here first. Scott, 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 Scott. Okay, if, if he down. starts to come down, let's back off a little bit so he doesn't feel like All he's right, getting Scott, choked here's out. Here's the ladder. Wait, can, can you come on can over? Can you keep your hands out of your right. pants, Scott? I want to do it heroin. Scott, we got the ambulance here to help you. All right? You need some help getting down? Scott! You're not paying attention. Wait. Hurry up, he's going to grab the hypodermic. Just wait till we're all three up there. There he goes. He's running. Hold, Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Coming to you. Yeah. It's okay. We got it. Good. Stand by control. Okay. Hold on. Okay. I got it. You're doing well. You're doing fine. Relax. Relax. Easy. Easy now. Relax. Do nothing. No, You're you okay. didn't do anything. We're getting you some We're help. Get okay? you some help, all right. Here's Brad, another relax. leg strap. Sorry. I don't we think he's. Hands up here. Okay. Actually, did you get me some tape? Trauma tape. Keep him off. The relax, guy. Yeah, yeah okay. it's probably hotter than daylight. Okay, there you go. Okay. Okay, I checked his britches best I could, even in the cross. It doesn't look like he's got nothing. Okay. Okay. <laughs> tell us again, tell this man what you had all today so they know what you're doing. And what else? Crack. Okay. How long ago? Early today, just a little while ago, I was going for behind there, not to charge him. I saw Davey sneaking up. I said, we got him now, we got him. That's why I stayed right there. He was focused on you, and we I talked to him. you were watching me, and you just kept talking. I was like, cool. Okay, when as soon as I saw your head, I knew we got him. All right, what we're going to do is we'll slide him down the ladder. You guys take one on each end. OK. Me and David take this end. We'll take him over there, set him on the ladder. OK. I didn't do anything. OK, let's go down towards the roof line. Probably Dwayne. What? He said, who's the strongest one? Probably you. Just hang on, OK? Just hang on, buddy. I'm not going to let God, nothing happen. Yeah, you're, you're fine. We got him. We'll lower you down Watch to the fire. Hands. Watch his hands on the Pick side. Your Pick your hands up. Look at his yeah, face. Yeah, you got that Let's go. Watch his arm. Oh, my God. OK, okay. You got the next one? Yeah, go ahead. Let's go out of it. OK. All right. You guys got him? Yeah, we got him. Got him. OK. OK, we'll get him down. The feet need to go that way. Well, I feel like we're going to clear it. What are you guys on each belt? Got him. Let's pick up his goodies. Okay. How old are you, Scott? 31. 31? What's your birthday? 7765. Seven, yeah, his body feet are like burned off. <sighs> Nothing. I don't think I. Yeah, his feet have got to be fried. Just with the belt around. Yeah, probably we can't let him like tumble off the roof either. No. So we got to do something. Irene, Good job, Irene. The negotiator extraordinaire. Good girl. I can't believe you stayed calm that long. I'm teasing you. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> I've never been on one like that. Me either. I've never had a guy just... Guy stuck up on the roof. That's another one for the books, I guess. Yeah. The representative was making a slot machine repair in the 1700 block of North Rancho. As he was leaving the business, he was hit in the head and forced into the company van. Suspects then drove to an unlo unknown location in the area of Lake Mead and Comstock. Suspects then removed the cash from the van and fled in an unknown direction. Suspects in this robbery are described as black males. One is 5'10", 210, wearing a gray shirt. The second suspect is described as a black male, 6'1", 170, wearing a white t-shirt and brown pants. Okay. All right, that's fine. You take this one. All right, let's go to work. Figure it out. You got the book, right? I feel as far as uh, our job goes, uh, and my philosophy as far as dealing with people is just, uh, 
uh, respect them or give them the kind of respect that they're giving you. And uh, I think if you usually keep that in mind, uh, you keep yourself pretty much straight and out of trouble and uh, deal appropriately with each individual. Um, you know, dealing with people on this job is something you do every day, and uh, you need to be able to do that effectively to uh, get the job done, as far as I'm concerned, and do it, uh, do it the right way and uh, be good at it and have a good time doing it. All right, we're going to uh, back officer with him. He's got a car failing to stop. Uh, possible stolen vehicle. He's one street east of us. We're going to see if we can't catch up to him and uh, see if we can assist. Big bumps. <laughs> Call. Big bump. <laughs> okay. Get hit by another cop. No stop. There he goes. He's running northbound through the park. I'm going to go back this way. Just ran on to I-15. There he goes. Okay, we're going to go down on I-15. He's going to that unit on Adams. There we go. I'll tell you what, we're going to head up this way. Running up on the A. Curb. What it is is uh, Officer Witham went out to okay. stop this car, took off uh, subject, or the car was failed to stop. Basically, a passenger bailed out and ran. And that's what we're uh, trying to catch now. Looks like they got him in custody. Okay, William, three, three yellow, that's negative. Uh, he's in custody. The other two are in the vehicle still uh, standing by. Good job, buddy. Come on, uh, Matt. Let's go up there with Let's get him off. Good job. Stand up. Oh, yeah, he's good. We got it. Just relax. Yeah, he was going south, that's why I told you to go south, because I thought you, he's here, we're done, we're done, we're done. <laughs> he's in custody. Good jump, though. You understand what your rights are? Yeah. Okay, you have right to remain silent, anything say can, will be used against in court of law. You have right to speak with an attorney, have an attorney present with you during any and all questioning. You understand that? What'd you just get out? For what? Attempt robbery? Was that what you finally went for, or was that the initial charge? Stay on the car, young man. No. Throw up over there, not on the car. That's why you shouldn't run from the police, man. Let's go, stand up, man. What? Well, don't puke. It's the sergeant's car. You don't want to puke in the sergeant's car, dude. You get very, very in much in trouble. That's it. Cool. It's a stolen vehicle, so that's cool. You want his shoes? No. Well, somebody better. <laughs> They're yours. You're the bike guys. <laughs> What'd you stop him for? You just saw him. I saw you coming down the street, yeah, and I saw were, he wasn't stopping. Well, they were acting suspicious back in that alley. There's a dope yeah, house there. Right. right. And uh, they just stopped and uh, kept looking at us. We just came around the corner, turned around to... to uh, See what they, what they were going to do. They just remained to stay there. So they came, finally came on out and uh, accelerated on the turn, tried to get around the corner before we can do the U-turn on it. And he accelerated down there. I turned on my lights, sorry, and he failed to stop. That's when we saw you. Yeah, we're in the pursuit right here. 
Uh, it wasn't until after the vehicle had stopped and the passenger got out and ran uh, that they ascertained that the vehicle was in fact a stolen vehicle. Um, the suspect that ran uh, was apprehended and uh, he <laughs> picked the wrong officer to run from. Uh, officer Withams, one of our quicker guys up here, and he's really uh, tenacious. Once he starts after you, he's not going to let you go. So everybody's where they're supposed to be in jail and everybody else is going home. So good caper. I try to get the regular lease once or twice a year. What, what a ballpark that is. I mean, it's been around since, I think, 1914. Just the history involved in that park and the Ivy. And it's outdoors, and most of the games are still in the daytime. And that's the way baseball is meant to be played, not indoors or on AstroTurf. Plus, I like the long season of baseball. You know, it's 162 games. And it's not like football or some of these other sports, you know, that have shorter seasons. We're en route to back up some officers who are following a person who's wanted in a vehicle. Uh, we have a couple of narcotics officers who are following. Oh, no, 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 no. He's right there. Somebody's going westbound on 16th Street. That's him right there. Empty cars is westbound 16th from Sherman and a green and silver Chevy pickup truck. 250 control, I'm behind him. We're uh, still westbound on Brookside Parkway, South Drive, passing Ewing. Let's see if we can get a couple more cars here and we'll stop them. Stop cars, stop westbound. Parkway, Parkway, South Drive, Parking, Gilly. Yes. Okay, that's like Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Control, control, boys, Canine control. Two fifty control. Put me up. Give me a car on Brookside South Drive too. Make sure he doesn't go into the park. Series right there. Cook, wait. Quit. Hang up, hang up, hang up. Cook, cook, get over here. Get in here, cook. Can we see your hands? Ram, hang on. Turn on your back! Get some cook. Get your hand on your back. Put your hand by your back. Control, we're one house. Control, we're trying to get him. No, okay, here's his other hand. Where is it? Right here. Put your hand. We're trying to get him cuffed now. Stop resisting. Stop it. Get your stomach. Okay, I'm clear. Relax. 
Greg, you all right? Oh, he hit me with the truck earlier, but other than that, I'm fine. He ran and he tried to run us over. No, sir, I thought the guy was scared. Okay, yeah, you're scared. No, you won't. Yeah, you're right. No, I didn't even see him. No, he was just pulling my, on my door with his gun out. And I didn't know who he was. What about all the cars behind your door? Where's the car at? Where'd he crash at? Right there in that truck. All the marked cars, two marked cars behind you, red and blue lights. The guys in uniform didn't give, didn't give you a clue that it was the police. Listen, I promise the guy to you, sir. He was ready to pull down the alley and we, we pulled him over. I pulled up next to him and tried to box him in. He, he sees me, takes off. I run next to the vehicle, which wasn't too bright. And, and then Cook goes in down the uh, alley after him, and then him and Roach went in pursuit after him. And I guess he went, they went through here in the neighborhood a little bit, and then he bails down here, and he runs up here, and he hides back in here. Hey, sir. So, I don't know. When I came down the alley, he went down the alley. I came down the alley. His truck slid sideways, and there's either a garage or a concrete post down there that he, the truck ran into, and he bailed out. Huh? When he bailed out, the truck bounced backwards, and when I came out, I didn't see where the truck went. I think it rolled back into the front of my car. What, what's the warrants for? Uh, I don't know. Um, Detective Horn's got all the warrant information. He's got three different warrants on him. For, you got three warrants on him? And he's going to go to jail for battery on a police officer, resisting law enforcement in a vehicle, resisting law enforcement on foot, reckless driving. That'll probably be it along with his warrants. Um, my father's a police officer. I was raised in a good home. And they instilled some values in me to treat people as you would like to be treated. And occasionally out here, you have to get a little physical with people, a little loud with people. But it's important to stay focused with uh, what your whole purpose is out here. I think as long as we all come out here and do the right thing and go home at the end of the night, then our job's a success. Nope, from 74, so that should be coming at you. We're gonna try to get down here and catch up to uh, Claremont's behind a vehicle that was in excess of 100 miles an hour on 136, they got on the interstate coming south, and apparently they're really flying, so we're gonna try to catch up to them, get them stopped. Steve, we're uh, southbound, coming up on 10th Street. I'm behind the Claremont officer now. I think he's gonna wait till he gets down by the bridge. Okay, myself is 12 underneath the bridge. Okay, we're coming up on you. He hasn't lit him up yet, so I'm just gonna wait to see what he does. A couple canine officers down here at the bridge in case this guy takes off on us. Okay, here we go. Well, you're gonna be okay. You're past us now. I'll let the canine car get in front of us. Solid stop. I uh, took the fourth car back then. I don't have a place for it. We're uh, just off of uh, 465. Okay. 93 George 3378. It's a 99 issue. 9310, Bronco. Uh, looks like possibly the vehicle we were uh, going to stop just north of Rockville Road. Hey, Dan. All right, bud. Come on back here, partner. Do a favor, put your hands on the car for me. Just lay it up on top, that's all right. Where are you headed to tonight, bud? Okay. Listen, I'm just going to put you in cuffs. You're not under arrest yet. But since we're out here on the interstate, I don't want you doing anything that's going to make us uh, question your intentions, okay? When I pulled him over, I asked him what was between the seats, and he said marijuana was between the seats. He didn't even try to hide it or anything. You want to watch it for the second step? Yeah, what? Do you want? What's that? You want him, or we can take him. 
pulled up and I walked around the side. He just he just standing there looking at me. And I could see the marijuana open right on the side. And yeah, said, we could see it from the passenger side. Yeah, no I said, I said, what's that between the seats? He said, that's marijuana. Didn't even try that. Oh, he just told you it was marijuana. Yeah, he just said it was marijuana. Okay. Got a big one. Okay. I just got paid. I uh, had a couple of people that owed me money pay me off today, too. All 20s, $400 and 20s. Look yeah, up. he might be selling or yeah, that's what I'm thinking. buying or whatever. Selling $20 bags. This guy's flying through town in Claremont. Somebody sees him, calls in on a cell phone, and says, look for a truck that's doing over 100 miles an hour. Off-duty Claremont officer finds a truck matching the description. We stop it. He's got marijuana laying on the front seat. Just a little bit amount, but this tiny amount of marijuana. Now he's going to spend the night in jail, and he's never been in trouble before a day in his life. How much is air skip? Uh, well over five minutes. Okay. You said you just got paid today, huh? Yeah. Okay. K6 has already ordered it. Three, two, five. Just uh, have a seat right here for just a minute, please. Okay. Just sit tight. Scoot your ear in forward. Those cuffs won't tighten up on you, okay? When you took this ramp down here, when you got off of 74 under the, on the 465, you were in excess almost 70 miles an hour on a ramp. 465? Mm -hmm. Getting on here? Yes, sir. See how marijuana alters your judgment and your perception? Set. You thought you had your cruise set? At the 55, yeah. No. You were well over 55. Well over 55. I didn't turn my cruise off. I turned my cruise on and started. It's going to go to 55. I mean, now I'm going to go to jail tonight, and are they going to keep me in there? Do I got a chance to get out on bail or what? You'll be kept I mean, there tonight. But with the charge or the crime you're being charged with, you could face fines up to ten thousand dollars if the court sees fit. What do you think? A couple of joints? Yeah, for just a couple of joints. Possession of marijuana I mean, is possession of marijuana, no matter how you look at it. Right. I, 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 you know, I just enjoy, you know, as a casual thing. People drink casually. Well, the difference between drinking and marijuana <laughs> is drinking's legal in the United States. Marijuana is not. Until right. marijuana is legal, then whenever we I, I understand that, but I, I I'm not a possessing marijuana. We, I don't go out and them. break the laws. I, I don't go out and rob places for money to support my habit. I work all day long. And I respect the fact that you work, but nobody's the, questioning that. I have a question for you though. Why didn't you try to hide the marijuana? Most people try to hide it. Ain't no sense in me trying to grab something and throw it, and you guys still think the same thing as something in the car. Fair enough. I can live with that. I appreciate your honesty. Normally, people either chuck it out the window or whatever. You just said, yep, that's marijuana. You kind of blew me away with that. I've been working on a South Central Area Command. It's a uh, very interesting place. We're very diverse culturally and socioeconomically. I'm working uh, specifically Nora area in this corridor here almost the whole time that I've been in the department. Uh, the de neighborhood's definitely seen its fair share of crime in, uh, in recent years since I've been working. But uh, we're doing our best to keep it clean, keeping an eye on people out here, and doing our best for the good people that, wor that work and, and live in this neighborhood. Uh, I copy it. I have it. Copy. Up here on the right, it looks like a male and a female in some sort of a heated verbal argument. He's acting really strange. Wow, it really looks like he's amped up. I'm gonna see if I can watch him here for a second, see if anything else transpires. They're leaving together. Nine control, did you copy? On patrol, we saw a couple here a minute ago. Looked like they were involved in some sort of a heated altercation. So we're just gonna make sure that everybody's all right. Oh. Go. <clears throat> what the?
Put the car in park. Put the car in park. Control 3 North 43, copy 468. 3 North 43. It's going to be two times. Uh, HMA, HFA, 953 inside the commercial center. Hey, step over here in front of the car. Don't touch that. Step over here in front of the car. Put all that out in front of you. Put the smoke down. Keep your hands out in front of you. Right here. Right out in front. Turn the car off. Step out of the car. Step out of the car. Come over here. Hey, hey, Leave hey, the baby hey, there. Hey, hey, hey. Step out. The I understand that. Put your hands back where I told you. Step out of the car. Leave your smoke in the car. Come around here. Can you please get the baby? Can you let her get the baby? Time out. Let me be in. Let me be in charge for a minute. Well, look, that's my baby. She almost ran you over. I'm no, 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 no. She accidentally pushed on the gas. She didn't. Let me get to the bottom of it. Put your hands on the front of the car like I told you. I'm not going to tell you again. Step to the front, ma'am. Step over here to the front of the vehicle. You're going to go to the left side of him. Keep your hands on the front of the car. Sir, let go of the hat. Step back towards me. Any weapons on your person? I don't even know. Okay. I don't think so. Well, until you know for sure, that's why these handcuffs are going on, OK? You understand why I came by here and stopped you, right? Oh, yeah. I was just driving by. I'm you were know. a bit heated. And what do we see? Well, see, it wasn't even that. It was really who picked the pay uh, for the bill. You know what I'm saying? OK. And usually, I pay for the bill, but she want to pay for the bill. I'm the man of the house. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I should pay for the bill. So that's what, that's what the whole argument was about, is over bill payment? <laughs> yeah. OK, step back up over Thank here for a second. All right. You pregnant again, ma'am? Tell you what, we're going to take this purse off you real quick. Do you have any weapons on your person at all? No. OK. All right, you know what? You know, just put your hands behind your back. Yeah, you can't pat her down, though. You already can, know that, yeah? I can pat her down however what? I want. I don't have Just like I patted you me. down. Rod? No, you can't. No. Rod, I just want to get my baby home, OK? All right. I do, too. All right. We're going to make this. No, I'm just saying. My listen. You're making this there. worse. Listen to me. I'm not making it worse. My baby is in back of the car. She's, She's probably okay. scared. We're going to make the situation safe okay. first. Where's your ID at? I got no ID. OK. Whatever you find in there, I'll split with you. What's in there? Holy smokes. Oh. For sure. Wow, we, wow, know. we. What's in there? All kinds of narcotics. It's mine. Let's roll to jail. I'm ready. Good. I'm Come ready. On. I'm ready. Dad, I'm sorry. Huh? I'm sorry. Sorry for what? I love you. Huh? I love you. I love you too. Sit here in a second. For sure. Ma'am, I'm gonna do my best to get you out of here, okay? What What is your relationship with him? My ex wife. There's a reason why he's my ex wife. Okay. You want, you want to tell me a little bit about it, real quick? No, I mean, you're out with him tonight, and that's his that's his baby, no, and that's your child? I'm trying to go have dinner. Yeah. I'm trying to go have dinner, have a good night. This is crystal meth. Looks like little crystals. Put this and all of these in this container are crystal as well. You throw the spoon in. All these little individual bags, and there you have crystal methamphetamine distributing for sales. All right, Roderick, do you understand what you're being arrested for, trafficking methamphetamine? Are you clear about that? Yeah. OK. My partner here is going to transport you downtown. Just sit up here for a second. My partner is going to transport you downtown. going to take good care of you. Do you have any questions for us at all right now? <laughs> no. All right. Well, you got a lot to think about. I know your lady's pregnant and everything like that. You might, I don't know, you might want to think no, about I'm no, good. Well, I know, but you might want to think about changing your ways. Well, I know. I tried tonight, but it's all right. OK. All right. We're going to get you on your way right now. Here we go. There's always tomorrow. Tomorrow's a new day. Please the car right here. All right. Have a seat. All right, Jennifer. 
gonna go ahead and give you your license back. Oh, okay. I was gonna forget all about that. All right, your, for your cooperation and everything else is the only reason why you're going home tonight. You know what I mean? I know. I mean, you could have been caught up in this mess much, much worse. Not only, um, you know, you've cooperated. Him you know, I, but well, I'm just, sure. I'm just telling you. You know, you need, you need to really think about some of your life's choices. You know, you've got a clean record. You know, and you seem like you got somewhat of a decent, good head on your shoulders. You don't need to be caught up in any of this. You know, narcotics trafficking that's going on with boyfriends, and you get caught up in the middle of this, you wind up going to jail, your child's gonna wind up going into protective services. You know? And what we're, we're even more lucky is that he, you didn't run him over tonight. And I know you weren't trying to, you're just trying to get away, but my goodness, it really raised my blood pressure. Anyhow, I'm glad it all worked out, nobody got hurt. I was actually born in Arizona, and one of the few people have been here all my life on the west side of town. and. Started working for the sheriff's office about five years ago. Came straight to the streets and been on patrol ever since. Uh, working on the special assignment unit. Work all over the county. It's been a lot of fun, a lot of excitement. It's a good job. Yeah, this truck doesn't have a license plate light. Stop him, talk to him, see what's going on. George 191 trap. 91. At Arizona for Adam Mary. Gonna be Apache Trail and Chrisman. Of course. Mary 712 89 30 Lawrence, and then 2005 29 negative. 173. Yourself. 10 for Andrew's device location with 50 necessary. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you doing? Oh, okay. What's up? Do you have your driver's license with you? Do you have a driver's license? Um, I'm from Maryland. I have a Maryland George driver's license. Give you my name. This is my mom's truck. Who's backpack? All right. This is got junk in it. Like, uh, uh, don't don't dig in it, please. I have a 487 921 reference to a stolen outside. If you don't take it. Do me a favor, hop out real quick. Make sure you don't have any oh, weapons yeah. either. No yeah. guns, no knives. No, right here, right here, right here. Oh, sorry. Then put your hands behind your head and interlock your fingers. You're not under arrest, all right? Okay. You got anything I need to know about? No, sir. You sure? No, no weapons, no knives, no nothing? No, sir. No drugs? No, sir. Okay. What you get in this back pocket? Uh, just pictures from the magazine. Can, girly I, mag can I go ahead and take him out? Yeah, go ahead. The girly magazine? Yeah, yes, yeah, sir. I was going to call a number. That's it. No big deal. Keep your hands up there, okay? Okay. You don't have any warrants or anything like that, do you? Possibly. Um, For what? Uh, Let me get you a stand right back here. For a date? Okay, you can put your hands down. Okay. Um, for what? What was your court for? Uh, what was it? Um, I think a disorderly or something like that. So, like a, um, in front of a hotel one night, like disorderly conduct or something. I got it there. Navajo County. Okay. It's a That's misdemeanor. Uh, yes, sir. Stand right here and wait for me, okay? okay. Just relax. Is there anything I need to know about in this truck? Yeah. All right. No other ID in your purse, and you don't mind if I look, right? Um, Okay. Is there anything I need to know about in there? No, no drugs or anything like that, right? I certainly would not, no. Okay. What's this? What's that? You got more knives than, than I've ever seen in a purse. I'm crazy with the wrong girl, huh? Yeah. I'm gonna watch my back. Hey, Billy, how long you known this lady? Not long. Couple weeks, probably something like that. Yeah. Yes, where'd, sir. Where'd you meet her? Uh, through a friend. I uh, just lived nearby. Uh, her friends. My friends now on vacation. Yes, sir. Don't know her. Second time I've seen her. So you met her a couple weeks ago? Charge one ninety one. That you would take a couple, maybe like a month. It's your girlfriend or what? I don't know. Kind of. She's flaky though, man. Flake, flake. She's hot but flaky, dude. Hot but flaky. Yeah. I think so, right? I didn't know, I mean, I don't know all about all the knives or nothing like that, dude. I'm gonna put you in handcuffs right now, okay? That doesn't mean you're under arrest, but I'm just gonna do that so I can finish looking in the car and I don't have to try to watch you, too. So turn around. Put your other hand back here. George 191. Come on over here. in handcuffs? Yeah, he's in handcuffs. I'm gonna okay, sit you down. You need unit? Uh, I got another unit out here with me, uh, so I'm fine. Thanks. I'm gonna sit you down over here. Okay. Okay. 
We've got a 1051 um, Navajo County. Right here on the curve. In Holbrook with a bond of $5,000. What other warrants might you have? Aggravated DUI. <laughs> Does that sound right? Ag DUI? Yeah, that sounds right. Yes, sir. And extreme DUI. Both of God. Take the out of his PSO with no bond for failure to appear for preliminary hearing. Hey, Rhonda, are you oh, lying to me about your name? Yes, are you sure? I'm positive. I give you my social security number for one. Okay, come on out. Okay, he's in custody if you want to go ahead and confirm. And I've got a, so a social for Rhonda if you want to try that. Two. You ready? I can't run social. I was, well, I guess I was. Okay, will you try our state? Can you put her in your car? Sure. You're gonna sit in his car for a little bit till I figure everything out, okay? Passenger's got two felony warrants. So I'm gonna look around in here and see what we have. Maybe we can find some ID, some drugs. Here it goes! Oh, he fell! Billy, what are you doing? You're on your belly. I'm on the. You all right, Billy? No. Did you hurt your face? My head. I ain't gonna try nothing crazy. You already did. I know, you're right. Yep. I put him in handcuffs earlier because he had warrants. And uh, I was just finishing searching the vehicle, talking to him, and next thing I know, he stood up and took off running, but. He didn't get far with the handcuffs on, and he tripped and fell. Lighter, chains and stuff. Chopstick. Why'd you take off running with handcuffs on? Um, I was gonna try to put him around my front first, but I, uh, that's the only thing I was thinking. I was gonna try to get him to the front, but I was stupid even running. I don't. I wasn't thinking. That's the problem. I wasn't thinking. No. I wasn't thinking. What'd you think when you started to lose your balance? I thought I was going to hit my face, but I spun around and kind of... Yeah, you took it in the shoulder and your elbow, huh? Yeah. All right, you going to run any more? Negative. At least not with handcuffs on? <laughs> not no more, period. All right, go ahead and have a seat. you got to go to jail for those warrants, so... All right. Not every day you see somebody running handcuffs, right? Not every day. No, not every day, that's for sure. Now you know why. It don't work. No, it doesn't. <laughs> I gave Rhonda a criminal ticket for failing to provide ID and no driver's license. She could have gone to jail, but I gave her a little break on that. He's going to jail. He's got two felony warrants, and uh, his mom's going to come pick up the truck so she has something to drive. As the uh, sergeant in charge of the fugitive unit, I have four detectives that go out in the field all day long, and all, all, their, all their job is is to go out and hunt down the wanted and bring the wanted back to justice. Makes me feel good that, uh, you know, we can take some of the worst of the worst off the streets, and um, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. Again, it's a lot of adventure, and that's, that's kind of why uh, I'm going to work today, actually. One of the props we use, actually, is we, uh, Craig will dress Craig up like a, uh, like he's uh, spraying bugs in the apartment that the possible target's at. He'll just walk around like he's spraying in there, and if he, that'll get him access to every room in the house. Once we get the, once we get him in custody, we have a system. It's called Pit. It's in yeah, the I jail, but they do have portable. We do have portable ones. However, we don't have a portable one today. But what we've used in the past is if uh, somebody's lying about their name, we know who they are, and we're trying to cover the tracks of the person that made the phone call. What we'll do is I'll, we'll take the thumb of the suspect, we'll place it on here, then they usually give it up who they are. We don't have to take them down and actually have them fingerprinted. Um, Daniel is currently wanted for parole violation for uh, narcotics trafficking. He's on paper for some other, other charges. He's a, He's been arrested for child abuse, theft, all kinds of nasty stuff over the years. Um, we had an anonymous tip that he's hanging out in several residential areas, so we're just responding to the tips. 
Yeah, he's supposed to be coming out of this uh, park across the way here. I think looking straight across, he's got to pass that red truck if he goes out Boulder Highway. You know, that's him. Is that him? Looks like him, doesn't it? Yeah, let's let him go into the store. That's him. I think that's him. Looks like him. The nose looks like him. He's got a scar lower lip. Let's go get him. him in the store? Yeah. You want to take him on the outside? If he's in there, I'd like to just walk up behind him and All right. do him. He's going to be able to run here. Let's go do him. Yeah. Daniel, right? Yeah. Back by the water coolers. You take this out, I'll take the next. What's, What's your name, name man? Huh? What's, your, What's name? your name? Jeff. Jeff, Jeff what? what? You got some ID on you? No, no. Okay. Look over at me. Oh. We just had a robbery happen. Robbery? Yeah. yeah. Do you have ID? No, I don't. Have you ever been arrested? Yeah. Okay. Under the name Jeff what? You don't have what? any ID with you? No. Okay, let's come on out here so we're not disturbing anybody. Okay, let's come over here. I just come from the trailer right there. From which trailer? The trailer's right there. That trailer park? Yeah. You said you came from that trailer park? Yeah. Now, we got someone matching your description who just did a robbery over at that casino down that way. Well, are you well, sure about that? Look. I'm positive, I'm positive I did. Okay, what have you been arrested for, man? You have anything sharp in here that's going to poke me? Yeah, these look like yeah. hypodermic devices. Yeah, are these hypodermic devices? One. Do you have any in here that are they have the caps off of them? No. You sure? What is your real name? Hey, I tell you what, I... Because you're lying about your name. People know their last name. What's your last name? Hey, hey, I, I, I could do his... The uh, fingerprint scan? Yeah, I'll do the thumbprint Tim on Ramsey. Him. Tim I'll, Ramsey? Yeah. I'll do the thumbprint oh, on Oh, you ain't no Tim Ramsey. Yeah. No, he's li he's shaking like a leaf right now. He's you guys lying about. I'm scared. I didn't do nothing though. No, you're sc you're you're scaring me because I think you're lying to me right now. Right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a quick fingerprint scan on him, download sure his data, that, uh, and then I'll uh, send it off to the jail. Yeah, the modem's up. It'll send. Okay. Hey, Carrie. Let me just get his. Sir, your first name is what again? Tim. T I M. Last name. Spell it. I am. What's it Your date of birth, sir? 224. 220 what? 24. 224 what? 70. 70 what? 74. And how old are you today, sir? 20. 24, 74, and you're how old? 20. You're, you're 20 or 28? 28. 28. You're 21? 28. 28 years old. 28, you turn 28 on what day? 2. On what day? 24. On 24 of what day? 2. Hey, does he have a scar on his lip? <laughs> My bottom. Oh, man. All right. He's got a warrant for parole violation. What are you on paper for? Uh, uh, it was drug court. Daniel no. And, and two different cases. OK, and what, what's your date of birth, Mr. 7 what? 760. I'm going to write that down. OK, yeah, do me a favor. Confirm the warrant, fax and abstract back to the Thank county you jail. Hey, Dan, how long you been running for? How long you been hiding? Over a year. Over a year? You just been living, I mean, just going so from. So you see, I'm kind of relieved. Exactly. All right. Help me out more than he admitted he was a parole violator. Uh, he's, he's been on the run for some time, a couple years. How he's been able to uh, evade the police this long, it amazes me. That's it, another bad guy off the street. We just move on to the next one.